everyone. Welcome back to another Patch Tuesday recap with PDQ. Uh, today we're dealing with June 2024's Patch Tuesday, so let's dive in and see what kind of goodies Microsoft has blessed us with this month. I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. This has been a pretty light month for it. I even talked to our security analyst, and she she referred to these patches as boring. And if you're anything like me, you could use a little more boring in your life. Let's look at a few of our highlights, though. So we'll start off with CVE 2024-30080. Now, this is dealing with Windows Messaging Queue. Now, if that sounds familiar, congratulations. You've been paying attention. I swear this thing keeps coming up, like, constantly over about the past year. I swear I've seen this, like, five or six times now. It's our highest rated one. It's the only one that came back as critical this month. Luckily, the remediation is simple. Just deploy the patch. You're good to go, at least until next time. We'll see how long this one sticks. All right, the next one we're going to look at is CVE 2024-30078. Now, this one comes in, I would say, at a distant second. It's uh, just rated uh, an 8.8. .8. It's only rated as important. Now, this one is affecting Windows Wi-Fi driver, and it could lead to remote uh, code execution vulnerability. Now, while this one has a low attack complexity, this one actually requires the threat actor to be, like, on your premises. So... They got to be within like Wi-Fi range to be able to take advantage of this vulnerability. So I guess maybe take a trip around the office and see if you see any like shady figures or anything lurking around. You know, if my security trainings have taught me anything, they usually wear like a ski mask. So they should be pretty obvious to spot. Diving into our last one. Now this one is CVE 2024-30103. And this one is uh, impacting everybody's favorite email client, Outlook. Uh, I know, shocker, right? So this one, under the right conditions, a malicious actor could create um, malicious DLL files. Fortunately, this one requires the attacker to have already authenticated into Outlook using um, valid exchange credentials, which if an actor already has valid exchange credentials, you've got more than just this issue to worry about. That's going to wrap it up. Like I said, a pretty light month. I think only, yeah, 51 patches. Uh, one of them is publicly released, but it's not known to be exploited out in the wild. So identifying vulnerabilities on your uh, in your organization, make sure to check out PDQ Detect, which will not only help you detect all those vulnerabilities, but it'll kind of like prioritize them for you so you can easily see which ones you should hit first. If you need help deploying patches or automating your patch deployments, make sure to check out PDQ Connect or PDQ Deploy and Inventory, which will get those things covered for you. If you got any questions or anything, hit us up down in the comments down below. If you want more PDQ content, like, subscribe, you know what to do. Uh, for PDQ, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching.